Hey guys, welcome back. So I know that in this channel, I talk a lot about KDE and also about desktop setups and whatnot, um, but I do plan on varying up uh, the content a little bit and uh, kind of start talking about other uh, desktop environments and all that type of stuff so that well, we can see a different side of Linux instead of just KDE and Manjaro and uh, the typical stuff that I keep showing and talking about. Um, but in this video, I'm just going to uh, talk about, in my opinion, the best themes for KDE. Um, and these are actually the ones that I'm using currently. And I do tend to switch themes around oftentimes, but uh, for the past two weeks or so, uh, when I haven't been making any videos, this these are basically the themes that I've been sticking with. Uh, and so let's start off first with the plasma theme. So the number two or the number one themes, there's actually two themes uh, that I would recommend uh, for KDE users are Helium and Nilium. So they're basically the same theme as just that one is a light version and the other is a dark version. Now I'm currently using the dark version and you can take a look here uh, to kind of have an idea of what it looks like. And in my previous video, I did kind of show what a notification would look like. So this is how the notifications look. And if we switch it to the Helium, the light version, this is how the light version looks and how the notifications look as well. I think they look very nice. Um, it's just the logo here is a custom logo. That's why it didn't uh, change. But uh, these are my favorite themes simply because of the fact that, uh, in my opinion, they look very elegant, very sharp. And what I mean by sharp is that um, you can take a look at the corners here and they don't, there's no back shadow effects that Breeze has. Um, and I just think it looks very nice. You Unfortunately, you can't really change the level of transparency, uh, but I think that it looks great the way it is. And also the icons are very nice. And here I have the panel set at 24 pixels. Now, usually when I set the panel with anything less than 24 pixels, the icons, uh, as you can see, they get smaller, but they get blurred out. Um, but with these icons, I don't know what exactly, um, I don't, I don't know what the properties of these icons are exactly, like why when they scale, they don't become blurry. But uh, if you like having a very thin panel, uh, you can have your icons look uh, just perfectly fine how they should. So that's something that I really like. Uh, and also if I mute the audio, for example, as you can see, it has it turns red, which I think that's really nice. I can uh, really appreciate that. Um, I think it certainly looks uh, better and more apparent than the Breeze theme, for example. So yeah, these are my favorite themes. These are the themes that I stick with. And when it comes to cursors, I like the Pixel Fun 3 and the Pixel Fun 3 Eclipse. I think that both of these cursors are very nice. As you can see, they're uh, very minimalistic, I suppose. You know, they just have the uh, arrowhead. They don't have the line that goes after it. And I think that they're very simple. And what I like to do personally to add some contrast is if I have a dark theme enabled, like currently how I have this one here, um, I'd prefer to have a light cursor theme. And if I have a light theme for the applications, then I'd prefer to have a dark cursor, you know, to kind of uh, not only be able to see the cursor better, uh, but to also add some contrast. So these two are certainly my favorite icon themes because they just look so good and uh, they really, with them taking less uh, space, even though cursors in general are small, just the less space it takes, uh, I think the better. Now for the colors, this is probably uh, the hardest thing uh, for me to find which colors would fit the theme and everything that I'm trying to go with because I'm trying to go with a, a very simple design here and I was really wondering at one point I decided to stick with just the uh, plain breeze dark theme um, I was really trying to find a, a nice elegant dark theme that I could uh, use but I really just couldn't find one but after some looking, I decided to stick with the Kogir Dark uh, and the Kogir Light is also very nice as well as you can see. Um, 
Yeah, I, I think that the colors are, are nice. And if you take a look at the blue highlight that it has and just the overall um, dark colors, um, I don't think they're too dark or too bright. I don't know. I just I think the colors are very nice. Um, and yeah, yeah, it was it was certainly difficult uh, uh, trying to find a proper dark theme, especially one that would fit the um, whole simplistic theme, plasma theme here that, and just the whole simplistic uh, theme in general that I'm trying to go with. Uh, but in my opinion, these two are very nice, very elegant, and. Uh, if we go to the application style and take a look at the GDK application style, I'm using the Cogear Windows Dark. Uh, the Windows thing is uh, for the title bar. It kind of looks like the Windows title bar, uh, but there's a separate version as well. Uh, and if we take a look at a GDK application, uh, you can see the dark theme right here. And I think that it just it looks really good. So that's the good thing is that it's also available as a GDK theme. Uh, so you can kind of have the same theme for uh, your Qt and uh, GDK applications, uh, which is definitely nice because if you have different themes for the different styles of applications, it just doesn't look as, uh, uh, what's the word, uniform, I guess. So. For the icons, I've been sticking for the longest time ever. I've been sticking with the uh, Coral icon theme. I really like that for KD. You can check it out real quick. The Coral icon theme is very nice. Uh, yeah, I like it, but I don't know. I really don't know why I stopped using it. I think it's because it, it just even though it, it is an original icon theme, it has a mix of everything. I mean, it says it right here. It's it's basically got a uh, mix of everything. It, it did kind of have too much of a Mac type look, uh, and I just didn't really uh, like that. And also I had the Midna icon theme, which is actually exclusive to the uh, Chaos distribution. But I figured that that icon theme, I didn't really like the way the folders looked, but uh, this Papyrus uh, remix, uh, it's basically like the original. It just has some differences, like the color of the folders uh, is a bit different as well as the settings here. Um, but I really like it. And as you can see, the applications here, uh, it looks very simplistic in my opinion. Um, sure, it doesn't look anything too fancy, but the fact that it's simple and it uh, gives a nice variety of the icons here. Um, I can really appreciate that, and I think it certainly suits the whole theme that I'm trying to go for here. Um, but yeah, and also for when it comes to wallpapers, I'm sure you guys have noticed I tend to stick with similar uh, style of wallpapers. I mean, these are the new uh, KDE wallpapers that were in the contest, uh, but I tend to use these kind of abstract wallpapers here. Uh, and these ones are from uh, someone called Justin Mahler. So if you want to um, check out his art and maybe take a look at these wallpapers that you can use, you could just type that up and um, you should see his wallpapers. So yeah, so that was basically it. Uh, again, I'm going to try to make uh, more varied content, maybe talk about GNOME or something. Uh, I'll figure it out. But yeah, that was basically it. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.